Hi, I'm Susan Arndt, and I'm with Zab Dematos, and you got to play Call of Duty Ghosts yesterday. Yeah, yesterday in Los Angeles at LA Live, Activision spent a lot of time showcasing the multiplayer for Call of Duty Ghosts, which is coming out later this year. Now, this was a Microsoft event, so that means you got to play it on the Xbox One. Yeah, and playing it on the Xbox One controller was probably the biggest barrier of entry, because the game feels exactly the same way as every other Call of Duty game, but the controller in certain aspects of it are smaller. Like, the analog sticks are smaller, and some of the other refinements that they've made have just made it difficult for my giant man mitts to, to grasp onto this thing. So do you think you just have to get used to the new controller, or do you think that the new design actually makes it harder to play the game? I feel like over time, people will get used to any new control scheme. And it's not an issue of responsiveness, it actually is just the feeling of the controller. The analog sticks are smaller, the bumpers no longer come to the edge of the controller, they're a little bit more into the center, so all of these little things felt different. And some of the other refinements, we just don't know how those are going to work. For example, the rumble triggers weren't activated for this event. So it's difficult to figure out exactly how the game is going to feel when we finally get our hands on the final product when the Xbox One is released later this year. So in addition to new software and new hardware and new everything where there's also a new engine that Infinity Ward is really, really proud of, did that have a major impact on your experience with Ghosts? Even though the engine is brand new, don't expect to be blown away by this new next-gen graphical fidelity. It looks cleaner, the animations are better, and there's better lighting effects. What this engine allows them to do now, though, is add these events, these uh, set pieces that have been in the single player, now are in multiplayer. So, for example, there's a map called Strike Zone, and it's basically a shrine to America's pastime. But at some point, if you complete these in-level challenges, you get access to a missile that you can launch onto the map. Once the dust clears, the map is completely different. There are new areas of entry, bridges have been blown apart, statues have been destroyed. Everything looks a lot cooler. Now, it's basically just replacing one skin for another, but it is really cool to see something like that happen in one multiplayer match. One of the other new things they highlighted during the presentation yesterday was that you've got some fancy new moves you can do during multiplayer matches, like a knee slide and leaning, because, because soldiers couldn't lean before. I really liked the ability to slide from a sprint because it opens new situations where you can glide into doorways with your gun firing, or even make really cool, badass escapes from enemies if they're shooting at you, running away and just sliding behind cover. Leaning, on the other hand, didn't work so well. It's supposed to give you better situational awareness around cover, but I could not get it to work. I did try. I was inching towards cover and trying to see whether or not moving left or right would make my character lean, but what ended up happening is, I'm sure you can guess, I'm just getting shot in the back a lot. So one of the other things that they're super, super proud of is the new customization, but you said you weren't overly impressed by that either. They made a big show about how it was this brand new thing for Call of Duty. Really what it is is you can select a different face, a different helmet, and an outfit. You don't even get to select the armor pieces individually like other games like Halo. It is just an outfit. Now, there are female soldiers in the game now, which is amazing. Finally, female soldiers are in Call of Duty, but I think that they were added really late to this build because they had very limited options for customization. I mean, there were only two different heads, there were three outfits, whereas the male version had way more options available. Now, I think that's just because it was a late addition to this event's build, so I'm hoping it's going to be more robust when the final game comes out. Ready. 
you need to get used to the new controller and you need to learn how to lean properly and uh, we're hoping to see a little bit more from the customization down the line but overall how are you feeling about call of duty ghosts call of duty ghosts looks great in the new engine it feels good running at a solid 60 frames per second and the new events bringing those set pieces from single player into multiplayer is a really exciting addition and i'm looking forward to seeing more And it feels good, running at a solid 60 frames per second. It's the game that people remember. How can you forget? It's every near. Uh, <laughs> you can't forget something if it never leaves. Uh, uh, I think my toaster has a version of Call of Duty on it. Um, <laughs> it's so real life retweeting that like as soon as we're done. <laughs>